Hello, people. I'm right here at the Costco Business Center. I don't know if you've all heard about Costco Business Center, but I'm going to take you on a quick little tour here in just a second. Got to make sure I have my keys and I don't lock my keys in here. We're good. I was trying to get the sign in the background, but it's, the sun was glaring. There we go. Costco Business Center something new there's not many of them there's only like maybe nine or twelve but i'll give you a tour inside okay it pretty much looks like a regular costco when you walk in you got your exit you got your entrance you got to show your card i think i think you do there yep there she is there you go thank you and just like the other costcos they've got the the sale items right along the fence when you walk in they call it along the fence here uh, I think I've went over pretty much all these at the other Casco. Oh, I didn't see this uh, this ramen on sale. How many you get? 18 bowls. They're bowls for $14.99. $4 off from $18.99 till uh, the 20th. Oh, they've got some different sales going now. I know I did the Cinnamon Toast Crunch because I bought that. Uh, we got the Frito, Frito Lay. 54 bags set for $14.99. That's off five bucks too. The skinny pop. If you like that, the individual package. Uh 28 bags, $9.99. And then the Pirates Booty. The Pirates Booty. That's uh $9.49. That's four dollars off for 40 packs. They got these Oreo things. I guess they're little mini packs of Oreos. How many? 30 packs of Oreos. $11.09. That's off $2.80. You got some of this Body Armor Super Drink. Um, watch out for the sugar in these, the sugar content. Because some of them, I think, are pretty high. It's uh, $13.99. That's $4 off for an 18-pack. And Tully's Coffee French Roast. What do we got here for the Keurig? So you got the pods. That's $29.99, $7 off. And it's, uh, it's like all these are... In it on the 20th or the 27th. That body armor ends on the 20th or 27th. And this is what I was thinking about getting was this taster's choice because I don't do coffee, but I do cappuccino. And uh, it's 10.89. It's five dollars off till the 20th. Yeah, I was thinking about making a little instant coffee with my cappuccino mix to up the caffeine a little bit. But as you see, it's kind of similar. Uh, these same things were on sale over at the other Costco. The, the, all the uh, hydration mixes you put in your bottled water and the San Pellegrino. That was in my last video. Uh, it's laid out a little different. There's no food court. This is more for businesses. Uh, they've got some Halloween candy here. It's not on sale, but $19.99. What's, I was looking at this at Aldi. How many, does it tell me how many, it's all your name brand stuff. It's Kirkland Signature, but it's all your Reese's, Twix, M&M's, both kinds of M&M's. I thought I saw Snickers, Milky Way, uh, Babe, uh, no, uh, Three Musketeer. It's $19.99. I don't see how many pieces are in here, though. That, that's what I'm looking for. It does not, it just says 90 ounce. The ones at all, they actually tell you it's like got like 75 pieces in it. But I think this is about double. And there, I was looking at stuff there for $10 and $15 at Aldi for Halloween to give out. Oh, my wallet's in my cart. I can't leave my wallet in my cart. Uh, one thing, this is a big store, but it's not as big as a regular Costco, so I won't be on here that long. Uh, they've got this one. It's your... Your other stuff, the stuff I don't want to see when I'm getting my Halloween candy. Your Twizzlers. I'm not sure what else is in here. Airheads. Stuff like that. Let's run down here. This is our appliance area. They actually have prices on them here. Like a little Maytag fridge. That's almost just like mine, only my stainless steel. Let me see the inside. Uh, similar, but not quite like mine. Freezer is just like mine. The door. 
that's all just like mine, but mine doesn't have these. I like this. I wonder if I can get those. Yeah, this is, this is, I need this bar right here. The movers, when I'm just moved, lost that. It's gone, and I need that. As I, I set the door and everything falls off now. What is that? That's a Cambro? They have a Cambro here? Oh, for you delivery drivers out there. This thing is, uh, it's a big insulated box. I see these down at Sweetwater Coffee and Tea. Uh, Brendan down there, that's what he puts the orders in on the table before you get there and pick them up. <coughs> that's $40, $49.99. It's, uh, I'm guessing it's probably big enough for a hotel size pan. Uh, let me see the dimensions on this. This isn't on sale, but this is something definitely to watch for. And this is not at your regular Costco's. 21 and a half inches. Oh, that's going to be, I think, a little too narrow for a hotel pan. But I wouldn't know till I tried. But that is insulated. That'll really keep your stuff hot to get to your customer. And also here, they got more of your stainless steel tables and stuff you'd see in restaurants, kitchens, and your, your rack shelving. I don't see much for commercial uh, freezers and stuff like that for restaurants. Doesn't mean you can't order it. Oh, butane stove with the butane refills. You got your sternos here. They don't have those over at the regular Costco. And you got Schaefer's, full-on Schaefer's. Uh, your, the, the, this one's obviously a little nicer. It's hundred bucks, but it's about a, that's a decent price. That's what it looks like closed. And then that's your basic one. This has the built-in lid that just swings back and that's your standard cheapy with the cheap lid but hey they get the job done stainless steel they're 24.99 then you got your air pots for your coffee for 20 bucks your percolator i don't know if it percolates but it's a coffee maker i think it percolates your commercial more your commercial type stuff oh what we have down here Electric water count? Oh my gosh, that's a great price. $17.99. For a... Uh, see that? Those go for about 30 bucks on Amazon. That's a great price. I don't need one right now. I have two. But they usually boil water. You fill it up with boil water in less than 10 minutes. For your hot tea, they got some... Uh, this is like a big crock pot type thing. Hi. I think I left mine at my apartment in the basement. I had a ball wrap brand. It was like 16 quarts. You could make soup in it. And there's a big rice cooker, giant rice cooker. If my friend Lisa watches this, she wants a rice cooker. This is more rice than she needs to cook for $249.99. Don't need that. Uh, hot plates. Got your uh, commercial series kitchen aids. Five ninety nine ninety nine. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but that's a clearance deal. That's got the Death Star on it, so they do the Death Star at the business center as well. Uh, that's washer and dryer. They have uh, bus tubs, more stuff with the Cambro brand, but these are just lugs for prep at your restaurant. Uh, oh, this doesn't belong here. I'm like more butane. No, this is just more storage containers. Uh, oh, these are the ones I'm more used to seeing with the green lids. And then you see the ones with the red lids. Those are typically bigger. Um, $23.99. What is that, a four-pack? Yeah, four-pack. $23.99. I like that the, the prices on a lot of this stuff is down lower. At the regular Costco, I, the price is so high up in the air on some of them. Got, now, this is more your basic stuff you'll see over at the other one now this is a commercial wiring brand commercial microwave stainless steel probably be stainless steel inside that's like in a second 339.99 i don't buy this stuff often yeah it's all stainless steel on the inside which i never understood how can you have stainless steel in there and not be able to put metal in your microwave little tabletop wiring uh electric fryer it looks like uh comes with one big basket two small baskets oh my gosh that's for 19.99 uh commercial panini press that makes the good sandwiches that's 5.99 yeah it's all commercial so it's going to be a, a little more expensive there's a bus cart that i know a lot of people wishes they had for doing catering deliveries it's 129.99 here for that bus cart 
think I've seen those on Amazon for around 100 bucks. And more containers, all for your restaurants. That's why this is a business center. And now, you, now I'm seeing some commercial stuff. You can get ice makers here, um, dishwasher, commercial dishwasher. It, it washes your glassware and plates a whole lot quicker than your dishwasher at home. Uh, regular deep fat fryer. That's not a bad price, 900 bucks for a brand new one. Yeah, what is it, 35 pound? It doesn't tell me. And then your big commercial stoves, no price on that, of course. It's probably too expensive. And then out here in the middle, you got candy, candy and chips and all that stuff. I haven't really went up and down the aisles here. You go, we got commercial skillets, saute pans and stuff. Non-stick, do they have non-non-stick? Two packs for, oh, those are on sale. Two pack of 10 ounce Teflon fry pans for $26.99. That's not a bad price at all. Are the the eight inch on sale? No, nope. these are good. These are good for making omelets in, really good. Well, unless you wanted a bigger omelet, then you go with a bigger pan. They've got a 12 inch skillet. Are these all two packs? They are. Not on the not on the 12 inch though. That's only a single one for $24.99. You can get a wok. Oh, all your uh all your um flatware for restaurants, that restaurant quality, you know, kind of cheap. And then all your serving spoons, slotted, non-slotted, meat cleavers, steak knives. It's not a bad price on steak knives. I need some steak knives. $6.99 for a 12 count. And all your spatulas, your restaurant grade chef knives. Uh, treat them right, they'll last a long time. Treat them wrong and they won't. You got big stock pots. It's not a bad 50 quart stock pot for $59.99, not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal on a pot that big as long as it comes with the lid. I don't see the lids. All your insert pans for your steam tables and cold tables, your quarter, your thirds, your, uh, I don't see any nine pans. Um, I see third pans, half pans, quarter pans. A nine, a nine pan is gonna be, this is a quarter pan, a nine pan's half of that. And I don't see the, the inserts that you put in that will keep all that stuff from falling through. So then they got, some things but not everything they're not a full-on restaurant supply house but enough to get you what you need that's a heck of a heck of a can opener there <laughs> look at that handle it's a 1049 for that can opener i like that i may have to get one of those from here uh placemats they're probably pretty durable set of 12 13 by 18 for 11.49 on some placemats here just a neutral neutral color scheme there theme whatever you call it right there's what they look like you got tablecloths pa plastic tablecloths thermometers um i this caught my eye too <laughs> i want one of these one of these infusers but i don't need one that that big I was hoping this this one here, I was hoping that had an infuser, but it doesn't. You just stick the stuff in there. A little strainer pack, $11.99 for your hand strainers. And then you got your calendars over here. Three pack of those for $18.99. And the strainers are $11.99. And if you need your ketchup, mustard, all that good stuff, $4.69 for a six pack. That's a good deal. Um, all your towels. Bar towels, big towels, whatever. What else we got down here? Open signs, safes, cash registers, printer cartridges, and other Office Depot type stuff. Printer tape, um, that goes down so you can roll your desk chair around on it. Desk chairs, office chairs, whatever you like to call them. Uh, we're into some seating here. There's a that on sale no nope, it's just a bluetooth speaker uh motor oil back here so they still sell that shop tiles i'll get to that in a moment 
stationary. That was the word I was looking for in that other aisle. Uh, those are inkjet labels. Stuff I wouldn't even think, but you got all these chairs. These are nice. They fold up. These fold up. Nice, nice cushion. Sturdy chair. $39.99 a piece. These look more for outdoor right there. Let's see what it says. They're stacking chairs. That's a nice chair. $39.97 on that too. And then all your standard plastic tables. Uh, file folders, hangers, all that good stuff for your filing system. Legal pads. Full size and mini. Uh, paper. Stationary stuff. More tables. These heaters are hot. <laughs> Do they have it on? No. $59.99. You want to heat up a room? Get one of these things. Too many. There's that fire extinguisher they have on sale till the uh, 20th for $29.99. They've got them out here. A lot of them out here. They've actually got them on an end cap here. Your batteries. Uh, they still have some on sale for $14.99. Um, totes cushion to stand on for back fatigue they call it the Titan Pro comfort mat floor runners for uh, uh, your entryways floor mats these are for like in the kitchen when you're going to stand for a long time it helps with the back but I'll tell you what over over the years, standing on those hard floors, those mats don't even really make a big difference. Power strips. Is that air? Compressed gas duster. That's just canned air. Oh, they've got, uh, are these nitrile? Only one size. Yeah, these are nitrile gloves, but I need large. I'm not, I don't trust boxes that say one size, but $13.99 is not a bad price. Gloves are expensive these days. Very expensive. Uh, tapes. Uh, you got your packing tape. Packing tape. Duct tape. Hand warmers. Space heaters. Motor oil. Oh. Blue Def for the diesel motors. Some goop hand cleaner. That's on a clearance for $7.97 at the uh, business center. Oh, this is different from the other one. We got cup carriers. This I can get at the fast food joints, four cups. But I recommend using two of them because they're not very they're not very stout. Um, all kinds of different this Coca-Cola brand cups. This is different. Uh, we got dome lids here, straws, straws. Uh, more drink cups, 16 ounce. Uh, more Coca-Cola branded ones. You got what, 16, 20, and 16, 20, and 24 ounce Coca-Cola cups. Uh, lids for cups. That would probably fit all these over on this side. Wind Cup is that brand. They typically only fit on the Wind Cup brand, but these are a different brand over here. Oh, the Wind Cup down here. These lids will all fit those cups down there. These cups over here will have either no lids or they'll have the lids of that brand. Otherwise, they're not going to fit. Costco used to have the best deals on these microfiber. Deals. I used to get, yeah, it's $15.99 for a 36 pack. I used to get a 48 pack here for like $7. Uh, now we're over to the more paper goods, uh, plates. What is that? How many? It doesn't say how many on the sign. $250 for $19.69. Those look like recycled. More cups, um, clamshells. Uh, they don't look styrofoam, they look recycled. Yeah, those are recycled. They're not styrofoam clamshell like food containers. All cups down here. Uh, different sizes. So, yeah, they got a lot of stuff for the restaurants now at the business center. That's kind of cool. 
more cups, more cups. I'm trying to get through this kind of kind of quick. Just to give you guys an idea of what's at the business center, because a lot of people that have never heard of one. Down this next aisle, uh, we got all kinds of kitty litter, cat food and stuff. So they got all the pet supplies. We got boats. Like they call them boats. You know, throw a hot dog and a burger or whatever to carnival pizza boxes. Um these are like box lunch boxes that you would get uh catered in more of those to go containers uh these here it's perfect they've got them out so you can see them that kind like you get at chinese places these days lots of those um portion cups souffle cups whatever you want to call them two ounce that's your standard salad dressing two ounce for like when you get your dressing on the side that's usually what they stick it in ziploc bags and then back out in the middle more chips snacks it's like pretty much all your snacks and fruit drinks like uh capri sun uh all your little sunny d bottles that that kind of stuff and <clears throat> this is all like your uh more stuff you use at home here your chinette plates and then on this side they do have the styrofoam clam shells Three compartment clamshell styrofoam. I was beginning to think they didn't have it. And that's all what this is all the way down here is all to-go containers for restaurants. Other side is more residential type, your normal house type stuff. And then uh, a little further down out in the middle. Now we're getting into all the, starting to get into the soft drinks. Uh, your Gold Peak teas and your poppy bubbly water, Red Bull, the energy drinks. Soda's going to be past that. Uh, this is all your Reynolds wrap and pans and all that kind of good stuff. There's all your, all the soda. It's out here in the middle, not up against the wall. I'm not sure what this stuff is. Plastic, plasticware. Probably going to be napkins, aprons, bags, to thank you bags. Just more things you need in the restaurant. This is just one half of the store. Yeah, they've got a little of your normal average consumer stuff in here, plus business stuff. Like the, uh, the, well, these are Huskies, but they look like those brutes, those Rubbermaid brutes. You can get the wheels that attach to them, roll them around, and lids are right there. You got your standard Slim Jim trash cans right here, plus lids. How much is our Slim Jim here? That is a great price. Are you kidding me? $18.99 for a Slim Jim? That's a great price. That's about less than half of what it cost at a restaurant supply house. And then that lid. Um, well, that one's broke. The lids are $12.99. Some of these you can get magnets on them. So if, you're, if you've got them around a server station in a restaurant, the magnet will catch the silverware so you don't get as much silverware thrown away. You got your commercial brooms, mops. Well, these aren't really commercial. There's your mop heads. That's for your commercial mops. Wet floor signs. Bags. This is all trash bags on this side. You got your regular ones down there that they, you'll see at every Costco. And this is all commercial. Here's going to be your can liners like they use in the restaurants. More diapers. What we got in the chemical cleaning aisle different from the regular Costco. Stainless steel polish. I don't see that at normal Costco. Uh, is this is a three pack, two pack, four pack of glass cleaner. Seven ninety nine. That's not a bad price for for glass cleaner for four of them. That's a good price. Regular everyday price too. It's not on sale. None of this stuff's on sale. You got a lot of pledge. The big thing at Windex. I think they have it at both. Uh, easy off. I know I don't see this two pack for nine seventy nine of. 24 ounce easy off cans uh, you got your hand soap you see in a lot of dispensers and bathrooms and restaurants I don't I do not like that pink soap it dries my hands out and chaps them I don't like it at all it's in a lot of the gas stations here uh, six pack of Comet some Dawn professional giant pack of scotch bright yeah 20 pack of scotch brights for $7.99 
good deal. And if you want steel wool, the stainless steel scrubbies for those uh, pots, $10.99 for a 16 count. These are, some of these are some pretty good prices. I know, cause you know, I was in that industry for over 30 years. Even in today's standards with the inflation and everything. Okay, not much different here. Um, I do see this uh, sanitizer, natural, oh, that's natural floor cleaner. It says sanitizer, you see sanitizer? Sign says, Maintenex, Maintex neutral floor cleaner. This is, this is sanitizer for your hands. Um, I don't see a sign for this, so I don't know anything about that. Over here is floor cleaner. That's what I saw, 1519 for, it looks like how much? 160, two containers that are 160 fluid ounces. Ah, it's back to trash bags. Yeah, that's three, uh, 380 off to the 20th. I don't need floor cleaner. Um, I don't know anything about this hand sanitizer though. Um, that's just all your normal laundry detergent and fabric softener and all that you see at the normal Costco's. Okay, I'm past the soda that looks like they had sport drinks, Gatorade and all that good stuff. And now we're into all the water. And I'm actually here for toilet paper, believe it or not, because um, they're running out everywhere because of the strike that made no difference on toilet paper supplies because it's shipped via truck because it's made in the United States. It doesn't come on a boat. So everybody panic bought all that toilet paper when it wasn't necessary. Oh, we got lots of, lots of ramen here. Let me see if they've got this one I tried. Ah, uh, that's hot and spicy. There's a hot and sour I bought last week. I don't see it here. I don't like it. <laughs> it does not taste like hot and sour soup. <clears throat> that's not why I don't like it. Uh, I, this might be something. Their regular price on paper towels for the Costco brand is $19.89 for 12 rolls. Uh, they were out of it when I went to Costco looking for toilet paper three days ago. But they had the Bounty, and it's on sale for 12 rolls. Ooh, less sheet count. I didn't notice that. There's 160 sheet count per roll over on that other one on the Costco brand. These are $19.99. They're marked down five bucks. It'll work. <coughs> Got to pay attention to that sheet count, though. Marathon. Oh, I'm not getting that toilet paper. <coughs> Excuse me. I get the Charmin. I don't even know what it costs. It's usually $29.99 here lately. Uh, the the blue stuff, the red stuff is, yeah, it's $29.99. I found the sign now. The red stuff I don't like as well. It's usually about four bucks cheaper, but it's three. It's $26.79 now. And this. Okay, at the regular Costco, I don't recall seeing that marathon. That's like big roll for your gas station toilets. And this ultra soft premium bath tissue, it's $21.99. I don't know anything about that. They don't have that at normal Costco. They've got this, their brand. That used to be just like Charmin. And it's not anymore. Trust me on that. But this ultra soft... That's 36 rolls. Yeah, I sure wish I knew if that was like Charmin. Because it's a it's $21.99 for 36 rolls. Charmin's $29.99 for 30 rolls. It says ultra soft. Well, wow, it sure looks blue on my screen. It's this this is purple all day. And that's blue. It just looks like a darker blue. That's wild. Everything else looks fine, but this this definitely looks blue on the camera, but it is purple. Yeah, I'll just stick with my Charmin. I know it works. I'm going to blow your mind if they still have some prices in this cooler like they had the last time I was here. So the first time I came in and checked this place out. Happy they had the toilet paper, though. Oh, I don't see that at the other one either, the Scott. Scott brand toilet paper, 36 rolls for $26.99. And then this, I saw this 
individual rolls merit that I saw a lady out in the parking lot with this. It's 48 rolls for $31.99. That doesn't look like very good toilet paper. But some of these meat prices I saw the last time at the business center. $41.99. What is this? These are ribeyes? Yeah, these are ribeyes. Four ribeyes. Not the best looking ones. But you can get the 10 pound. That's 90. I go with 80% lean. $369 a pound. Very, only place I know cheaper than that is Restaurant Depot on ground beef. 80, 80, that's, like, that's basically ground chuck. 80% lean. You can get 90% lean for $3.99 a pound, 10 pounds. Uh, we got the, the old the old cheap stuff, $3.29 a pound. That's 73% lean. But there's more. Uh, this is just salmon and stuff. They sell this at regular Costco and tilapia fillets. Um, the snapper fillets, you guys see that at the regular Costco too. But they've, they've got, it's cold in here. I'm in a big walk-in. And I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. U.S. Uh, DA Prime beef brisket, four sixty nine a pound. Four sixty nine a pound. Uh, they had Wagyu beef brisket the last time I was here for like six. There it is, right there. Beef brisket, American Wagyu, six forty nine a pound. For a whole freaking Wagyu, American Wagyu beef brisket 649 a pound then they got the uh i don't really know what this is this beef shoulder clod american wagyu 499 a pound i mean you can make ground beef out of that i don't know what kind of cut that is the beef shoulder clod if somebody knows what beef shoulder clod is drop it down in the comments and then you got the beef eye around american wagyu 579 a pound um eye around is tough so you want to That'd be something for stew meat or or grind it into ground beef. And you'd have Wagyu ground beef. We got beef tenderloin. That's uh, that's your filet mignon. Is this the scraps? It's the tailings of it. Yeah, it's because that's only $6.99 a pound. Here's your whole beef tenderloin. At $13.99 a pound, cut your filet mignons right out of that. $13.99 a pound for filet mignons. That's your, they've got some really decent, I, I'm, I think they're really decent prices on meat here. Try and go by real slow, people are in there chit-chatting it up. But they've got pork, diced pork, two forty nine dollars a pound for diced pork. If you need a, uh, what are those, carnitas? Or, which one has the pork? Tell me in the comments, I can't remember. Um, you got 319 a pound for pork belly great price uh, pork shoulder butt the whole shoulder or no these are butts they're cutting the butts not the whole shoulder but it's a buck 69 a pound um, <laughs> this is the bone in neck on this one here this one here bone in neck on this one's boneless Dollar seventy nine a pound. Big old you can man that's that's what you make pulled pork right out of there. Uh got the pork cushion meat. I don't know what the hell that is, but that's a big bone looking thing right in it. But you cook it slow and low, it's gonna make good pulled pork. I can't be in here much longer, it's frigid. Pork adobo diced, I don't know what that is, but it's twenty four ninety nine for 20 pounds. This is ground pork, $9.99 for um, sort of four pounds. Four pounds for $9.99. Four pounds of ground pork for $9.99. Uh, this is breakfast link sausages. Um, five pounds. Is the whole thing five pounds? Yeah, it feels about five pounds. $15.99 for five pounds of breakfast sausage links. That's a good price. Um, a lot of the other stuff I see at the regular Costco's. You got your coffee creamers, heavy whipped cream, uh, heavy whipping cream, the pickles, 
Uh, a lot of the stuff was at the regular Costco. No, I just knew those meat. That that meat's not at the regular Costco, and that's some killer deals, I think. If you find it cheaper, let me know in the comments. I'll go shop there and shoot a video of those prices. Oh, they do have different, uh, some different cheeses, which I'll get to uh, like this here. Uh, it's shredded mozzarella. It's uh, is it whole milk though? No, this is low pasteurized uh, whole milk. Um, I have a little bit more. One of these works better than uh, uh, on pizza than the other. The whole milk, none of that low fat stuff, anything, low little moisture, it melts better. You got different egg, got different egg um, options here. In fact, I don't even see the eggs that they carry at the regular Costco, except for these, uh, these free range brown ones. But those 18 packs are definitely not at regular Costco. I don't know what the product. 349 for an 18 pack. If I needed eggs, I'd grab one right now. Yeah, that's all it's over on. What is this? A giant, <laughs> a giant bucket of yogurt. 43, 43.99 for Caron Dairy's plain yogurt pail. 32 pounds of yogurt for 43.99. Yeah, they've got a lot of five pound, five pound bags of cheese here. This is mozzarella, fifteen ninety nine for five pounds. If they have the queso, uh, I mean the chihuahua, chihuahua for quesadillas, that is good stuff. This is shredded Monterey Jack, sixteen twenty nine. These are all going to be five pound bags. Um, this is a pizza blend, which is probably uh, mozzarella, mozzarella pola. Okay, that's not going to be your St. Louis style cheese. That's just a good pizza blend. Um, this is, I think, that same mozzarella I saw on the end cap. Parmesan. No, wait. Shredded low moisture. I don't want the low moisture. I like whole milk. It melts way better. Uh, sharp cheddar, fourteen sixty nine for big bags. This is more for salad. Just that, that finer shred. fifteen seventy nine on the shredded mild cheddar. Shredded mild cheddar again, but it's coarse, more coarse. And by all means, if you have the, the, the means of shredding it yourself, that's better. There, there's stuff they put on this stuff when they shred it so it doesn't clump together. Because down here, you got your bricks. I have four twenty nine dollars a pound for uh, Munster, mozzarella, more mozzarella. Like the whole uh, two forty five dollars a pound on... I th think it might be this, the, the Bella, Bella, Ru yeah, that's it. So that is how much? Fourteen sixty for a five pound brick of that. They've got more over here. So yeah, if you can shred it yourself, that's the way to do it. Because there's not going to be as much additives to it. Um, getting into the Mexican cheese, but there it is. Best cheese ever. Supremo Chihuahua. You will never find another cheese better than that for quesadillas. And eighteen ninety nine is not bad. I was paying that eight years ago at some places. Silk, almond, oat, all that. That's just waste product. They turn in the milk so people think it's healthy and you buy it. Look it up. It's not good for you. None of that stuff is. And I'm going to get out of here because I'm freezing. The rest is just regular veggies and other stuff you see at Costco. Oh, I do need milk, but I'm not going to get it here right now because I got too far to drive home. Most of your freezer stuff is the same stuff you see. Uh, the bread aisle, all the same. This is all the same product you see at any Costco, all your chicken nuggets and all that good stuff. I didn't check to see if anything's on sale for this stuff. Not sure where they put it here. Yeah, is, now there is going to be something I'm going to come across that is not at everyone. You got bone-in lamb cubes. You don't see that at the regular Costco. $59.99 for a 15-pound case. And then you got <laughs> whole lambs. $3.69 a pound for a whole lamb. Look at them. There's a bunch of them laying in there. They're probably rock solid, hard frozen. Yep. So if you want to have a lamb roast or something... Like a, like a hog roast, but a lamb roast. There you go. 
And uh, that is 44 pounds of chicken feet for $44.99. I hear it makes good chicken broth, but I'll, I'll take people's word on that. Um, I'm not sure if I've been seeing these butterball turkeys yet. They may may start stocking them because we got um, that holiday, you know, Thanksgiving right around the corner. These are actually really good. The Baby Go Beef Mandu Dumplings, three pound bag for $10.39. Uh, I've seen that, wow, the price went up. I've seen that down at $8.99 on sale. But they're good. They're really good. At least I, I like them. And I thought they had hogs here the last time. This all looks like normal stuff. We'll see. Let me rush down to the other end here. That's all the same stuff on both sides. For those that don't know, I, I've done a lot of Instacart shopping. I've done a lot of Costco orders. That's primarily what I do is Costco orders on Instacart. So I'm quite familiar with most of what they carry at a regular Costco, but not this one. Over here, though, you can get your uh, restaurant-style fries in the cases. What are they, 30-pound? That one's 30-pound case. Um, six four-and-a-half-pound bags in there, which makes that how much in the weight? 27 pounds. Different, different, any kind you want. Crinkle cut, McDonald's size, Wendy's size. Uh, they've got curly fries if you like those arby's curly fries or jack in the box since jack in the boxes are getting hard to find all the same frozen stuff in here and i think the rest of the store is pretty much what you're used to seeing for the most part and same frozen veggies that you see at any costco oh and over here just like well the main costco's i go to the coffee is right next to all the frozen veggies and stuff same coffee stuff, nothing, nothing different there. Nothing. I'm gonna try and take a better picture of the front once I get out in my van. Okay, I know I saw uh, frozen hogs the last time. Let's see. They do not have them this time. Yeah, I saw like pigs, small pigs. All your snacks and drinks and everything all out in the middle instead of all clothes and socks and all kinds of stuff like that mocha cappuccino hold on a whole big thing for $8.99 oh, i sure wish they had french vanilla oh my that's that's going right in here. That's on sale too, eight ninety nine. It's down three dollars from eleven ninety nine. I don't. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I do like my cappuccino from the gas station. Starbucks made me a cappuccino, and I thought it was horrible. A lot of Asians here talking Asian. I was seeing if they had any more stuff like this down here. Possibly uh, not mocha, but French vanilla. Uh, I like the almond amaretto at the gas station a whole lot. And I don't see it. This is all your sweeteners for your coffee. Or tea, whatever you want to sweeten. I didn't see that. That, that taste, that Nescafe Classico instant coffee. Wait, they have that. That's different. They had the Taster's Choice, Nescafe Taster's Choice up front. Yeah. Not here for that. Um, they do have bigger things of caramel, chocolate, stuff for your coffee additives for $15.99, $16.49. Big giant thing of Hershey syrup, big giant gallon of Marchino cherries. That's different. Um, number 10 cans. Hang on. What are they having this number 10 size can? That's a 10 pound can is why it's called the number 10. It is coconut milk. This they don't have at regular Costco's. Uh, or Thai coconut milk. Get into your Moroccan cooking and stuff with that.
Oh, I, I actually need flour. I don't want almond flour, though. I'm probably not going to... It takes me, like, years to go through a four-pound bag of flour. I don't see the flour in a bag the size that I would need. Jeez, I look at it. Some sugar prices. Tahini, wow. That's a lot of tahini. I don't like tahini. But that's what you need. To, that's a key ingredient in like hummus and baba ganoush. Baba ganache, however you want to say it. What is it? I say it? Um, chicken flavored bouillon. That's a big old thing of chicken bouillon. <laughs> 15 It's actually on sale. Caldo de polo. That's a uh, chicken bouillon. Polo is chicken, Spanish or Italian. Uh, polo, Italian pollo, Spanish. Yeah, you ever need spices and stuff? If they got it at Costco, it's usually a pretty fair price. Sweet mesquite. That's interesting. I'm not here for that. They've got bigger containers here. I just noticed that. They've got the large, large ones. That's the restaurant size. Heck, even these are restaurant size. A lot of restaurants I've worked at don't get the big giant ones like this unless it's something we use every day and a whole lot of it. God, these people are loud. Well, you know, there's a difference between this Costco and regular Costco that's really huge to me. It's not nearly as busy. It's not as crowded. Um, unfortunately, some people do bring their children that aren't well-mannered and like to scream and shout, like I just heard. This is, uh, what is this, uh, tomato paste? Tomato bouillon with chicken flavor, okay. I was looking for some chicken base, some beef base that they do have at the regular Costco. I don't see it here. I don't use bouillon, I use base. Which this, this feels like base. It says bouillon, but it feels like, doesn't feel like it's powder in there. Is that better than bouillon brand? This is ghee, clarified butter. Yep, oh, it's organic, I don't care. Eighteen ninety-nine is a pretty good price, so for clarified butter. Molasses, big giant things of lemon juice, big giant things of caro syrup. They don't have that at the regular one. I do not need to walk down this aisle. Nothing looks different. Just canned goods and stuff. Well, they got, they do have some number 10 size cans of hominy. How about that flies off the shelves? I'm kidding. Bushes baked beans, looks like some black olives. So they do have mixed in, uh, that looks like tomato sauce way down at the end. I, I don't know, I wanted to scoot down the next aisle because I saw dressings that look like they're in the gallon container. Wanted to see what type they had. It's Ken's Steakhouse brand. I like their stuff. They do have it, they have ranch, balsamic vinaigrette, and uh, golden Italian. That's the only three, that's the only three they have. That's good ranch. I don't need a gallon of it, though. How much are they? $12.99, $13.99, and $13.49. That's not bad, considering a gallon of Kins, which is good. It's comparable to this here, Hidden Valley. And you get two 40-ounce containers for $11.99. For $2 more, you get... 68 ounces more, I think. Big giant bag of bacon, bacon crumbles. You got the gallons of the Sweet Baby Ray. Um, you know, you got the gallons of the ketchup. Uh, you got number 10 cans of Hunt's tomato ketchup. Uh, your gallons of pickle relish and hamburger pickles, unsliced pickles. 
Old dill pickles, whatever they call it, that's different. Um, the giant jar of Hellman's mayonnaise, gallons of Hellman's. And then uh, real mayo from Kraft for $13.49. Um, all kinds of, uh, these are PCs. It's the first I've seen them. They got soy sauce PCs packets. They're called PCs. $13.99. I get them free from a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> but for if you have a restaurant, you need it. There you go. Uh, this is your hamburger pickles, your dill, dill chips in the five gallon bucket for $29.99. Uh, okay, they don't have this at the regular Costco. They've got a big shaker of it, but not a gallon size container of it. That's on sale $15.49 down from $19.99. Till the 20th. For craft um, spam more spam and more spam three different flavors of spam the ramen oh they got top ramen here they don't have that okay a lot of this ramen they don't have that I'm seeing just your standard little you know used to be like 10 cents a pack stuff 1369 for a 48 count um, they've got chicken. I, I don't see any other flavor. They got the shrimp noodle cups. I'm not a big fan of those. Um, chicken noodle cups. The beef cups. I see they got beef there. Then top ramen bowls, eleven forty nine for a twelve pack. Cheaper than Walmart. These are over a buck a buck a piece at Walmart. I think they're like a dollar thirty three a piece at Walmart. You can't buy it in a twelve pack there. I like those as you don't dirty up a bowl. And this is more of the shin noodles for $19.99. I'm looking for the, the stuff that I bought. There it is. No, that's hot and spicy. They must have clearance that out because I can't find it. It's probably why it's not that good. Oh, giant, giant cans of tuna fish. Instant noodles. $19.99. I don't know much about these. I haven't seen these before. Some of the stuff I haven't seen. Some of it I see it come and go. But I've never seen a Costco stock at all. <laughs> at one time. Except that hot and sour soup that I bought that I don't like. I can't believe it. All this stuff here and they don't have it. Yeah, it must have been a clearance item. That's why it was marked down. And that's why. And I, But I like that. I like that hot and sour soup. When I make it or I get it from the Chinese place. Uh, more number 10 cans of crushed tomatoes, tomato puree, tomato paste. Oh, sample lady had this last week. This stuff, this marinara sauce, I didn't like it. And it's $11.99 for two jars of that. I'll stick with my, my Aldi stuff. I didn't like it. It's not that good. Not as good as that price says it, it should be. Call me cheap. I don't care. Uh, this is all same stuff. Peanut butter. Oh, they got Skippy. I don't remember seeing Skippy over at the other one. Two different types. I guess probably creamy and crunchy. And then they got the Costco brands that I get. They used to have Jif. They've got Jif on the go, the to go cups. But they do not have the regular. Oh my gosh. Look at that big thing of peanut butter. $46.99 for 35 pounds of peanut butter. That'd take me a decade to go through, probably longer. Let's see here. Number 10 cans of diced peaches. Sliced peaches. Pineapple tidbits. Pineapple chunks. I need to get some of the raw, raw honey soon. all this candy almost done with this store i'm probably gonna be done because this is all breakfast stuff nothing looks out of the normal just, but this is a costco business center just a uh, similar but different no food court so i can't get a hot dog when i leave so if i'm hungry it doesn't matter um i, ooh, I did want to see if they had some crust on sale because i think all my toothpaste is in my storage locker 
And I know they have the one on sale that I don't like. Oh, it's not on sale anymore. This was the one I don't like, I think. No, that is not it. That I don't see at the other one. This is what I have. And it's not on sale. I'll wait. I know I have four. I have four of those somewhere. But I hate to buy more when I know I have some. But I'll keep coming out here and see if this goes on sale too. This is different crest. They've got the total care stuff. It gets real foamy. And I don't like it. Because um, I bought that too. And I gave it away. Because I didn't like it. That's that Oral-B. That was on sale uh, last month. Nothing out of the ordinary here uh, that I'm not used to seeing. I wish they'd come out with some good deodorant deals. I don't like any of the deodorants they ever have. And if you've noticed, deodorants got a heck of a lot more expensive over the last four or five years. Uh, actually, it's been going up for about more like eight years. Yeah, this is all your normal health and beauty stuff. They just don't have as much of it here as they do at the regular Costco. I don't remember seeing those Gillette deals. They have those Harry's shavers over there. But they have Gillette out here at the business center. It's like all kinds of band-aids and stuff. Or gloves. Those are all gloves. And then all your protein drinks. Shakes, whatever they're calling them. I'm not sure. All that stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and end this one. Till next time. And hopefully you guys got a quick look into a Costco business center for the first time. That's what I'm trying to do. We'll see you at the other Costco next time. Peace.